Comic Zone. On a dark, thundery night in New York City, our hero, Sketch Turner, is sketching away in his new comic. When all of a sudden, an arm reaches out, grabs him round the neck, and scares the living shit out of his pet rat. It turns out his latest creation for his comics, an evil villain cowboy bastard, is attempting to escape the world of the comic and come into the world of flesh and bone. And for some reason, he decides to throw Sketch into the comic. There you are, that's the plot. Then you get thrown into the actual game where there is more plot, but you can skip it and just bugger off straight away. This game is super colourful. The music, I would give it about a 7 out of 10. You know, it's great, but it's not memorably great. The thing that everyone remembers is the visuals in this game. Hell, Sega was so damn proud of it back in the day that they filed a patent for it. They wanted to make comic-style video games their own thing, and apparently they were granted that patent. The animation is sweet, the gameplay is awesome, it feels good to beat the shit out of these weird looking monster dudes. Not to mention when you jump from comic scene to comic scene, the transition is actually really nice, it's really well done. There's a great variety of monsters, there's tons of bloody dialogue in the form of typical comic speech bubbles, and yes, even the pet rat is here because I guess the supervillain thought he'd throw him in as well. Reasons? What's really cool is sometimes, instead of just jumping from one square to another, the borders of the comic break, and then you just sort of blast through to another area. It's pretty cool, I like it, it's a nice touch. What I don't like is sometimes you have to smash doors, or smash barrels, and just smash things that are in your way to get through to new areas. That would be fine if I didn't lose fucking health for doing it. That is some bullshit. I understand they're trying to add some realism to the game, because, you know, punching barrels and punching doors fucking hurts your hands. This is a video game where I've been sucked into a fucking comic, alright? I don't care about it being realistic, I care about it being fun. And the game would indeed be super duper fun. If it wasn't for just one thing, I could get on with the whole stupid fact of losing health from punching things. I could look past that. I could even look past the fact that sometimes there's some bullshit bits, like when you jump down here and there's some barrels with fire, like why would I fucking know that's there? Why? I could look past all of these kind of bullshit things. If it wasn't for the fact that throughout this entire fucking game, as far as I know anyway, because I haven't managed to get that damn far, because there's only one bloody life and no continues. You were expected to complete the entire game on one life. At least that's what I think. I, I believe it's true. At least I want to hope it's true because I can't get far enough in the game to get any extra lives. So I'm certain there are none. The funny thing is, everyone remembers this game as awesome and as a classic. But I guarantee that if you played it now, you would be fucked off pretty damn quick. People today don't have the patience for games like this. One life? One? That shit. This is the kind of game you would have rented back in the day, and then you would have got the full enjoyment out of it. To buy it back in the day? You know, you'd have to put some serious practice in in order to get anywhere. I've never met anyone that's completed this. And that's Comic Zone. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful game. And it is fun to play. But it's bullshit.